my name is Beth Vukmanik, manager of the SIP Certified Program, and today we're going to talk about sustainable wine growing. Seventy-six percent of the public believes independent third-party certification is the best way to verify a product's social or environmental claims. Consumers want to know how their wine is made, so we developed a program to ensure the people and the planet are protected. So when you see that SIP certified seal on a bottle of wine, you know the wine's been made sustainably. Sustainability at our organization goes back to 1994, when a group of growers got together and wanted to learn ways to be more sustainable. So they would meet up in the vineyard on the back of someone's truck and talk about resource concerns like pests, education for their team, and this is a huge component of what we still do today. We call them tailgate meetings. In 1996, we developed the first self-assessment for sustainable vineyard farming called the positive point system. And what growers would do is answer questions about habitat conservation, air quality, water quality, business sustainability, and look for ways that they could improve over the next year. They would get a score out of a thousand points at the end of the day, come back, take the self-assessment the next year after implementing some new practices and see if they could improve their score. And we found that this was a wonderful learning tool and it really helped people improve their scores and their practices over time. In the early 2000s, our grower group came to us and said they were seeing a lot of green claims in the marketplace. And if they wanted to make a claim to sustainability, they wanted something to authenticate that. So we took that original self-assessment and beefed it up. We made sure that all of the questions were audible and verifiable and launched the vineyard program in 2008. Within SIP Certified Today, we certify properties and products, properties being the vineyard and the winery, and then the product being the wine. So any wine made with at least 85% SIP Certified Fruit, estate or purchased, can carry that logo on the label. We're dedicated to protecting the people and the planet by supporting sustainable wine growing practices. Sustainability is about being more than green. We're meeting today's needs without preventing the future from meeting theirs. And we like to talk about the three P's, people, planet, prosperity. Let's take a look at the people. People are our most valuable resource. We can't get any of our work done without them. So a lot of time goes into continuing education, helping them evolve within their jobs over time and being a part of the team. And also being a huge part of the community, educating neighbors about farming practices and giving back to organizations. Onto the planet. Habitat conservation is a big part of sustainability, making sure that wildlife can move through the vineyard to natural watering holes. Soil conservation is essential to all vineyard production. So farmers employ practices like growing cover crops, which prevent erosion, provide nutrients back to the vines and can provide a habitat for beneficial insects. Water conservation is always key. So making sure that water stay clean and using conservation methods like dry cleaning in the winery before using any water to clean it down or measuring the amount of water that's used out on the vineyard with new technology to help reduce use. And there's lots of different ways that you can conserve energy from using variable frequency drive motors to wind power and solar power. Integrated pest management is another big component of sustainability. This means using all of the tools that you have to manage pests. So the first part of that might just be identifying that there's a pest issue and at what threshold any kind of action might need to be done. You can also employ different natural defenses like beneficial insects or barn owls to manage gophers. And you can't take care of the people and the planet without having a sustainable business. So we look at having multi-year budgets, insurance, and plans for the future. And of course, quality. The number one sales tool is having a great product. So there's always a lot of testing going on, looking at how the grapes are tasting, how the wines are tasting, and how different practices influenced and improved them. 
Now there's a lot of different properties that are certified organic or biodynamic and are also SIP certified. And as you can see here, the wonderful thing about sustainability is that it looks at all practices from block to bottle. So it's covering habitat, farm management, soil conservation, water, energy conservation, packaging, recycling, social responsibility, and community relations. The program is also continuously improving. There's a technical committee that reviews the program every year for suggested updates. And it's also sent out for external peer review to experts from organizations like the Environmental Protection Agency or universities to feedback any current technology and research on best sustainable wine growing practices. Everything is audited by a third party inspector who reviews the standards and documentation and practices annually. Jim Stolberg of Maverick Farming says, I always encourage clients to become SIP certified so we can operate at the highest level on our vineyard and for our employees. And some of those original benefits that we saw in the self-assessment are still true today. Participants in the program learn better ways to farm their vineyards and make wine, have better communication between their employees and overall improve their practices. Vineyard and winery certification is done on an annual basis. They are required to meet all requirements and at least 50% of enhancement points. Inspections are done each summer between June 1st and July 15th. And costs are on either a per acre or a per gallon basis. Wine certification is done on demand. So as wines are coming into bottling, they need to have at least 85% SIP certified fruit in that bottle. And those costs are based on per case. Lino Bozzano of VitComp says, we were able to sell our grapes at 80% above the open market because of SIP certified. It's like getting paid the right thing to do. Now, of course, public recognition of sustainable practices is a great marketing benefit of going through certification. Since 2018, we've conducted some market research on sustainable wine consumption. We wanted to look at best practices for retail displays and marketing to improve customer awareness. Using these results, we created and implemented a revised marketing strategy, all with the goal of increasing awareness, sales, and recognition of sustainable wines. We found that most wines are purchased in a retail outlet. Females and wine consumers with children are more likely to use in-store displays. A quarter of wine consumers that use the in-store displays are extremely or very likely to pay more for a sustainable wine. And the ultimate goal was to develop vibrant and eye-catching displays and put them in high traffic areas. We did these retail display research projects in 2018 and 2019 and established dedicated display sections. We know that overall, most wines that are SIP certified are selling at a higher price. And one of the stores that we partnered with in Pismo Beach, California has an older demographic and they also sell wines at a higher price. In this area, we found that the displays significantly impacted sales. So now we know that in locations where shoppers are a match for SIP wines, they can impact those sales. In that Pismo store, we saw an 11.3% average price increase. So we used all of this background information to develop a marketing plan. The perfect relationship of brand strategy is creative and logical we need to reach the heart and the mind of our consumers. And we can do this by telling stories. Historically, we've talked a lot about the science side of sustainability, but we can better connect to consumers by emphasizing that third P, which is the people. And there are a lot of ways that we can do this. We can tell the stories behind all of the growers of these wonderful wines. And it's not just about growing grapes. A lot of them are cattle ranchers, farmers, archeologists, and baseball coaches. Mike Van Breyer, the wine director at Bottles says, just like the organic section in the produce department, people are drawn to a better tasting and better for you wine while knowing they are supporting a better planet. And we can reach these customers at the store shelf between using the SIP certified logo on the bottle and by using more of these retail displays. 
As you can see in marketing, everything is connected. So all of our efforts to reach consumers through social media, press, retail, and the stories that we tell about the incredible people making sustainable wines helps everyone learn more. And if you want to learn more, you can do so at sipcertified.org.